So we uh, hanging out at the farm and my 450 is getting worked on right now. It actually needs to get rebuilt. The only bike I had in the garage was the retro 250 two stroke. And I was like, eh, I think it's time we take it for a ride. So I know it's hard. When you build a really nice bike, like we built with the two strokes, like the black one and this white one, you don't really want to mess them up. Like they sit in the garage and kind of like a showpiece trophy. Then I'm kind of like, man, like how many bikes do we want that are just sitting and like that look all brand new? And we are trying some more radio comm stuff. I always use comms when I race in cars or off road. I've never raced without comms, without a radio, so. And I, we used to use these with Hayden and Hudson when they were younger, when I'd go ride with the kids up in the trails or go do stuff, and we'd, get to, we'd just talk to each other. And, um, hey, Hudson, come over here. Or Hayden, hey, go, let's go over here. Like, it's just helped a lot. So it's just something we've been using for years, and I'm like, I'm going to reintroduce it, start using it again and see how it works. So we've got a few things going on here today. Got the FMF, titanium. Helmet. Bring your helmet. Me? Yeah. You gonna let me ride? <laughs> Maybe yours will fit if I put the take the pads out of it. all the way around or it, it is it, it it gets a little crackly in the back mm -hmm. I mean it has a radio audio like, like oh. coming in coming in like oh, I see. a little bit of a radio feedback yeah where the other one's crystal clear yeah this one's more of like I wonder if like this is an analog channel yeah. like this is an analog yeah. signal rather than digital because the clarity is about out of a out of a one to ten it's probably a seven where the other one's a nine gotcha maybe a ten how clear it is oh gotcha but the other one does cut out under revs yeah for me to you right but you to me was fine until the end it started breaking up a little more this one i feel more like almost anticipating like when are you going to talk to me for some reason oh really where the other one i feel like i could be like hey man i'm feeling good uh like communicate with you and be like i'm good right now only let me know if there's emergency yep. or whatever yep and then you're quiet or like hey man i'm getting tired or i'm uh coming to lappers let me know what's going on yeah i just feel like i'm missing you have something. control yeah you feel like you're in control yeah. of that's the only thing as a rider i feel like this is more of me just like kind of waiting for you to say something oh yeah um it's kind of a weird feeling but this here you would have to talk very clear and very slow mm. anyway let me let me go work on my wheelies something i need to get better at <laughs> Told you I need to work on it. <laughs> Had to break her in now, didn't I? You know what's crazy? That's exactly what I thought was gonna happen and it happened. <laughs> I'm like, sure hope I don't loop this thing out. That's how you break her in, son. Oh no, factory pegs stuck on it. I think we're out <laughs> of commission. Imagine if that happened in the race, you'd be screwed. The exact guy pictured myself looping out and missing the break exactly what happened damn it ah we're good it's a dirt bike it's what it's made for <laughs>
All right, so we're down here at Monster Energy headquarters uh, in SoCal. Uh, this is a cool occasion. I've been always wanting to like, give Monster like a gift. I've given them different posters and pictures from back in the day when we were Hanson's Energy, switched over to Monster when it first started. Like I said, I was the first athlete at Monster. A lot of people don't know that, but a lot of history. But I've always wanted to bring a bike down here, put it in their office, so it all just happened to work out that my first Jesse James built bike from back in the nine, late 90s um, for X Games just so happened to be down at Etney's, who the owner uh, wanted the bike, and I ended up selling the company, so he called me up and said, dude, you want this bike? I'm like, hell yeah, so. Anyway, swiped the bike, gave him some cash, and I was like, we're gonna give this thing as a gift over to Monster, so that's what we're doing today. We'll roll it in and drop it off, so let's do it. Oh, we'll have it this thing's weird. Dude, how do you ride this thing? Yeah, I'm trying to like fully really explain it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Did you get your fucking shin? No. Oh, dude, you are so lucky. You are so lucky. There are enough stitches in Corona for that. Dude, dude I'm hurt in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Got a bike here for you. Is there any room up there? We can put this thing. Yeah, bring her up. All right, hit the elevator. All right, I've got a little gift for you. Where can we put this thing? Bring her around here, we got the box for that. All right, let's check it out. Might have to move uh, Villapoto's bike. Or, uh, uh, Tanny's. <laughs> Tanny's bike in here? I think that went in the trash. That thing's gone a long time ago. It's a good spot for it right here, so cool. Right on, sweet. Finally found a good spot for the old school, this is the old school metal militia West Coast Choppers bike, the original built bike that back in the day, the only cool bikes were factory bikes. And then yeah. we came to X Games, create, created freestyle motocross, and then around 99 it came to San Francisco, X Games took over the show, uh, BMXers are hitting their 20, 30 foot jumps, uh, skaters are hitting the ramps, and all of a sudden, wow, these massive dirt bike jumps, 100 footers, and doing the seat grabs and all these tricks and the crowd just came running and, and that was the start of freestyle motocross uh in competition with espn x games and you know and at that point i'm like i need something cool i ended up meeting jesse james and uh he was like bring one of your dirt bikes to me and i'll customize it so i brought him a dirt bike i had no say in it he was like oh, i'm just gonna do throw he's throw some sugar on it as he says and um and i came back you know i don't know about a few weeks later and uh, the bike was all painted, polished, hand painted, airbrushed, and pinstriping. And uh, I'm like, this thing's badass. So, anyhow, it started the era of customizing dirt bikes to another level. And that's what built Freestyle Motocross the image, the characters. And uh, I feel like that's why I got so big. Like, back in the day, man, the, the movement was huge, the militia movement. Uh, it was just a lifestyle of guys having fun riding dirt bikes. So, I'm stoked to get to be able to find this bike. This bike's been at Etney's, where, uh, Etney's um, showroom in their office for many years and they ended up selling the company and they called me up and said, hey dude, give me your first dibs on this bike and I was like, hell yeah, I want that bike. And I thought, okay, I can go bring it back, put it in my shop or um, one day put it in a museum. I'm like, you know what's even better? Let's go back to Monster, the first place, my first real sponsor was Monster Energy. That was when I met uh, Mark Hall at X Games 99. It was Hanson's Energy before it was even Monster. And uh, I ran the Hanson Energy logos and then sat down with Mark Hall. They did the taste testing, the, the, the design for the claw, you know, all that. Uh, and and we, they printed the graphics. We put them on my dirt bike for X Games, which made me you know, the first athlete with Monster at Monster. And I'm like, you know what? We gotta bring back some history, bring back the first dirt bike to this spot at, at Monster Energy's uh, headquarters here. So um, this is good, it feels good, this is right. So anyhow, it's gonna live here and uh, I'm stoked to know it's at a safe home and these dudes get it. They, they get it, they live this, they live dirt bikes, they live action sports, they stay true to their game. And I feel like that's what we have done the same thing, man. Look, still wear all black, flat little hats, still black side, like whatever. It's in the day we started this era in the 90s and uh, keep it going, man. Stay true to your roots, dude. So that's what Monster does, and stoked to give this a good home. So thanks, Jesse. See ya.